Prime News 6 meteorologist Candace Campos, thank you for heading on to ClickOrlando.com, our Pinpoint Weather app, and our News 6 Plus app, and your smart TV. We are going to stay unsettled throughout the overnight and into the evening hours for this evening. Another stormy setup in store for your Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and even Friday. So keeping the rain gear handy, making sure you have your Pinpoint Weather app each and every afternoon as storms will be coming in, of course, at a very inconvenient time throughout the uh, commute home and after school uh, for the next couple of days. And then for your holiday weekend, the good news is a lot of kids are starting summer by then. We are looking mostly dry. Rain chances do go down considerably by then. Looking here at the modeling, we're still going to be tracking plenty of heavy rain, lightning, gusty winds, all the possibility. Maybe an isolated severe thunderstorm into the evening hours. Latest models show that most of our western zones will start clearing up by about 8 and 9 o'clock. Still a lot of activity for areas of Brevard, Orange, Osceola County by about 9, 10 o'clock. And then by 11, we're going to start dialing back those rain chances a little bit and then ramping them back up again for your Tuesday afternoon. Once again, another round of a marginal risk of severe weather, basically from 1 to 5 or about a stage 1 for tomorrow, meaning there will be then isolated uh, risk for a severe thunderstorm popping there. Lightning, wind, hail, flood, all the possibility as those slow-moving storms continue to make their way from west to east. So for this evening, 79 will be your temperature by 6 p.m. Showers and thund thunderstorms will linger, especially into the 8 o'clock hour, especially across our eastern zones. But by 10, the majority of east Central Florida will start to dial back those rain chances. Temperatures about 75 degrees. All right, let's look at our highs for tomorrow. Back into the mid 80s for our inland zones. Low 80s up and down our coastline for tomorrow, though. Another round of rain up to about a 70% chance. And as we get results here with your full seven day forecast, temperatures will be staying in the 80s below average just because we're going to see a lot more rain ahead throughout Wednesday and Thursday, keeping those rain chances pretty high. And then as we head into your weekend, drying things out just in time for Memorial Day on Monday.